welcome to the roundtable where we get deep <clears throat> into some elements of anime news of the week. The big one this week is a discussion over usage of AI in anime. Now, right. AI, obviously a big deal. Uh, lots of folks talking about it, but there were some uh, and statements, I guess, made this week yes. from various organizations about concerns over use of AI in anime potentially. Right. This is not like, it's happening right now, Skynet, oh my god. No, mm -hmm. it's basically just like foretelling possibilities and, yeah. and that's and that's kind of it. Exactly. With, um, with, with, with portents of doom. <laughs> well, you know, um, leave it to the various uh, article writers uh, CBR Comic Book Review. Is it Comic Book Review? I, I always just see CBR. Um, they've rebranded to CBR.com, so I never know. Um, so the the uh, um, first article title was uh, Anime Association Warns of AI Copyright Mess, quote, Monsters with Goku Voice Gundam Body, end quote. <laughs> and the other was A Crisis Overnight, Anime industry collapse warned by ethical AI developers. Dun, dun, dun. Exactly. Um, so there were basically a couple of different groups. The Nippon Anime and Film Culture Association is one group. They made this public comment saying basically that um, AI usage needs to uh, be used with high transparency. We should know kind of what's going on, how it was used and such. Um, and it continues talking about, you know, where does the money flow when it comes right. to all this, which is a reasonable thing. Um, the group was founded last year seeking to improve conditions for creators and encourage the management and production side to reach mutual understanding. Um, using, and I love this, quote, their respective wisdom to dissolve the accumulated stagnation, end quote. Like, what does that mean? Yeah. Like, like they, they accumulated stagnation. <laughs> it's, it's just like, I, I feel like someone's like opening up a closet door going, oh my God, there's so much stagnation in here. What do we do with this? Ah, I ah, guess it means, I think it just means, can't we all just get along? Yeah. <laughs> um, which would be nice if, that, if yeah. that, that, would, that would be true. So that was kind of interesting um, because it kind of got the ball rolling on this conversation and... I think like, there's something to be said for, okay, now that this is a, a thing, uh, right. now this is an option, what do we, how do we fit that into what we currently know and do around um, transparency, around, around who gets paid, who is credited for something? I've always found right. it kind of weird that on so much anime stuff, you know, you'll see a little copyright thing down and it's, you know, copyright Bondi. It's like... There's a lot more folks behind that than. <laughs> no, right. It's just Bondi. I mean, that's just kind of like a. Yeah. I, you know, it's kind of interesting because it is kind of like uh, one of the things that I was um, noticing in Neo Tokyo when I was watching it mm. was the, all the different. And they make it a point when you're talking, uh, when you're reading up about it, about not only the director, but also the character designer mm. in each of the shorts. Yeah. And it's definitely like, for example, Otomo. You see Otomo's work and you know it's Otomo, right? Mm -hmm. You know that that's what that is. That's who yep. it is. So you know when you have an AI generated thing, do you go, okay, I want um, uh, Goku Super Saiyan Otomo style, Ooh. and then you know you get that. Right? Mm -hmm. So who gets credit? So yeah. who gets the credit for that? Do they get? Uh, does does um, like, well not anymore? But would the estate of uh, Kira Toriyama get? Mm. Any fees for using Goku? Does Otomo get anything for, for you know, his design being the, the template? Yeah. And does the AI person get a certain level of copyright on that? Right. And then so, that, and then that yeah, gets that, into fan art, right? Like, right. If simply using a character means you know, in in AI art means that then there has to be royalty, then that same should be for fan art. Because you're right. using that character in fan art, so you know how does that all flow around? Work out right. Yeah, yeah. it's it's interesting times. 
So I um, suspect that the revolutionary socialist front of AI users will be weighing in on this shortly. We more an anarcho syndicalist um, commune. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, uh, also what's funny is I just asked AI for Goku in the style of Katsuhiro Otomo and it's just Dragon Ball Z. Um, <laughs> it's not really different at all. Um, actually it'd be kind of funny. Uh, let me see if I can, I can just kind of show folks that real quick in the chat. Can I? Um, oh, I, oh, actually I could, um, let me just pop that over here. Um, so okay, fair enough, fairly close, right? Not too bad. Um, anyway, that wasn't the end of the story. Um, oh wow, other group called um, Anime Chain, which is an ethical AI initiative. Uh, they also made comments in an interview this week. Um, they were founded at the beginning of this year, so a couple months ago, to provide generative AI with opt-in training technology that's insured, th insured through blockchain tech. So the idea is, yeah, all sorts of words there. So the idea is, and this is kind of an interesting theoretical idea, um, a blockchain is a record where you can prove every transaction in the chain. That's the whole point of it, right? Um, right. It's why you can actually have Ethereum and Bitcoin have value because you can you know prove that it's all there, um, and so if you could work a blockchain into that, you could theoretically say, oh well, this uh, uh, image is based on these images that were like used in some way to put it together. It's not that simple, <laughs> no. you know. Um, no. These AI generation um, items, it's not like they're taking you know, image one and image two and blending them together. It's training data on, you know, millions of data points. But um, that's the idea, is you could potentially have right. some kind of, at least some, some sort of record. Um, and his concern was around big tech. Uh, or at least uh, Shuhei Misei, the um, spokesperson for Anime Chain, was saying that um, um, basically if Japanese creators and developers don't uh, do something quickly, then big tech will uh, right. just do whatever they want, basically, right? Yeah. And right. he makes the point that big tech tends to kind of just invest in things and see where it goes, um, which can sometimes not be the best outcome for everybody. Yeah. I, I was just thinking how, like, if that were to be the way to doing the blockchain, can you imagine, like, somebody comes home or is on a date or whatever? So what do you do for a living? Uh, um... I dig ditches. I'm just going to say that because I don't know how else to explain this. <laughs> right. You know, you go through the entire date or whatever. Just like, like, okay, so that's what I do. What do you do? Well, it's time to go home. So, <laughs> you know. But I know a lot more about generative image generation, I guess. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, now, this went a little bit further when Cyber Agent... Um, released guidelines for its creative on, on generative AI. This is the parent company of Psy Games. Uh, Psy Games being the company, yeah. and I always forget all the things they do. Let me just pull up the uh, Wikipedia article. Um, so they do a little thing called Umumusume Pretty Derby. Ooh, um, not, right. not, not very successful at all. Um, Princess no. Connect Redive, Shadowverse, Grand Blue Fantasy, Idol Master Cinderella, Cinderella Girls, and Rage of Bahamut. So, yeah, um, doing okay, let's just say. Doing all right. And they basically said we have guidelines for using generative AI models for images, which, you know, when you think about it, they're, they're making more like 2D mobile games. Very easy to say, let's design a new character by asking AI, and then now we, we throw that image up on our site or whatever. Like, the the appeal, and like I, and this is, this is one of the other complex things. If I were a mobile game developer, I would absolutely use AI to come up with ideas. Right. right. To say, I want a, you know, horse girl with black hair and all that kind of stuff. That would not be the art I put on the site, but I would use that to kind of get, get some ideas flowing. Um, the temptation <laughs> right. is to then just have that be, okay, there's our art. Go for it. 
So, yeah, we'll see what, what goes. Hey, Fauna Fox, thank you for um, stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. Um, so that's the thing. Um, they're also forbidding the upload of copyrighted works without express permission from the copyright holder in these guidelines, um, which presumably means, you know, that is a thing that already would be true. But right. now with AI guidelines, they're saying, if you're uploading something and you don't know, that's your sign. <laughs> right. That's your, that's your, your, do I do this? Is this copyright? Well, if you have to ask, mm -hmm. you should probably find out. <laughs> yeah. Or big tech will own your soul. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the funny thing is, uh, these guidelines do emphasize that like when you're, when you're generating images, those are never the final product. They're starting a point to make adjustments and modifications upon so forth and so on, um, right. which totally makes sense. Well, you know, it would be interesting if <clears throat> they would like put in an intentional bug or leave mm. an intentional flaw in the AI to make sure that like I was just thinking about the hands. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> you know, mm -hmm. so to mark as a way to mark to say this is not a finished product. This is not a copyrighted product because we mm -hmm. intentionally made sure you can't use that hand. And I know they've talked <clears> about <throat> the, the, there was a white paper, I think, a while ago where they uh, introduced the uh, a like a digital watermark inside AI uh, generated images, which was not visible, but would say, you know, if you can tell that this, this pixel is here, that pixel is here, that pixel is here, then that means, you know, whatever. And the idea right. was for specifically this purpose where you could generate images, use them, whatever, but if they ever got out in the wild, folks could know, oh, this was from AI. Right. Um, which would be very helpful, helpful, I think. Um, and yeah, anime students are very serious with their, with their copyright. This is a, this is a, a big thing. It's how they, protect their sure. IP, um, sure. just as we're, we're protective of our security and our, you know, privacy yeah. and all that kind of stuff and Absolutely. our money. Um, so, Steve, you mentioned earlier, this is not now, not right. a now problem. Um, do you see this being something that we're going to have to worry about um, this year or like in a couple of years? I think it's something that's going to be a little bit down the road. I'm, I'm thinking somewhere like five years. I think we're the, the technology is at the point right now where at best it would be it would be character design. Yeah. Um, at the moment, uh, you know, but once we start, once it starts getting into actual beyond character design to actual motion, then we're going to have to you know really address things, and hopefully this will be enough lead time that legal, you know, whoever's doing legal has mm -hmm. the ability to do get in front of the ball. This is one of those things where I, I'm kind of hoping people will actually not do the human being thing and be slackers <laughs> and actually be <being laughs> proactive and get ahead of this, this eight ball and, um, and just basically be prepared for, you know, these eventualities. Cause I think that if you are prepared for this, this will be relatively simple. It'll, you'll, you'll get iron. Um, you, you'll, you'll get regular contracts. You'll get regular, yeah. uh, regulatory issues and things like that. I, I think that if you have enough time it, it, and if we don't, then it's going to be a mess. And exactly. then it's, it's, it, you know, it, it will be a mess. And then, but it'll be a whole bunch of smaller studios scrambling. Yeah to 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 protect their IPs I think if they don't do that agreed and yeah. I I really like Cy games approach where they're basically saying yeah we're gonna create guidelines and standards that say this is essentially an internal development idea tool right and but that's it and here right. here's the stuff and then that you know that gets publicized to say okay everyone just so you know here's here's where we draw the line and right. if that can be the industry standard where, you know, Bondi is not going to release an AI generated anime unless they say we're right. doing an AI generated anime, like, you know, right. anything is within these boundaries. Yeah. Um, that is the hope because I really don't want to see a revolutionary socialist front of AI users. <laughs> um, it's going to be interesting. I mean, AI has already gotten to the point now where you can do. Uh, character design, where you can say, here's my character, right. show this person from the left, from the right, from the front, from the back, you know, give me all the sort of character design kind of stuff you would need. Um, it's not that far away from <clears throat> generating frames of animation. Um, right. th there's a very, I mean, 
I don't think AI is going to be able to like generate 2D animation anytime soon because it's just not what it's designed right. for. It, it's not right. meant to blend things in that way. Um, uh, you have to, you, in other words, the AI tools we have now were designed for specific things, and the, the closer you try to get them to these edge cases, the worse they work. Um, yeah, you could build an AI. T- I mean, there is it is possible that there will be an AI tool that's like okay designed for this but it's we're we're not seeing anything like that at this point um wouldn't it be interesting if that is actually and and i'm kind of being serious here not snarky if that would is like netflix's goal goal Mm. right you know they get the monies and they do the things and then then they go hey guess what we can do the whole thing ourselves we're just gonna hit keystroke a (laughs) here's your weekly anime Mm -hmm. yeah um i the, the 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 big question is how widespread will it be? Because so much of animation is only doable by large groups, Mm -hmm. right? Animation is not democratized. It is one of the um, relatively, actually, I can't think of a lot of other art forms that can't be done by individuals. Right. Um, animation and animation can be done by individuals, right? But it takes them three years. Three years right. um, if this is an AI tool that allows you and I to press A and then make our thing, that's a different conversation. <laughs> I, I suspect that it's going to be much like um, Hoyoverse and, and online and mm. gaming, where you're going to have you're going to need a lot of power behind that to do yeah. that to do that thing. Mm. And I think for the time, that's why I'm kind of not too concerned about the legalities and stuff like that yeah. and getting ahead of it because i think you know it's going to take some time for that mainframe that computer mm-hmm. generation because it took what what genshin impact like how long to to get and they're still updating every yeah. whatever's and they're mm-hmm. still improving their 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 games yeah and so i i think that it's going to be like an entire engine i don't think like you know like all these studios will be like okay we got our uh we got our Apple computer, so let's start making anime. You know, it's not going to be like that. You're going to have to actually have a, a you know, I'm not going to say you're going to need a cray to, to mm. operate it, but, you know, you're going to need something, Some you're going to need a bank, you're going to need, um, yeah. you know, those kinds of things to, to, to be able to do that. So yeah. I think only, like, the really larger mm. companies with money, or or I think what you're going to see is you're going to see a uh, consolidation, mm. actually, be- mm-hmm. between studios. You're going to see a lot more... Um, um, partnerships why they're either in either technical and or financial resources mm-hmm. to make yeah. that thing happen. The other question too is whether this has an impact on 3D versus 2D. Uh, right. Because the, the tools would definitely be able to do 3D a lot easier than 2D potentially. Right. I would, I would imagine because it's, yeah. Um, figuring out what is the difference between, you know, two 2D drawings which are trying to rotate a thing is very hard versus just rotating a 3D object in space. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, so that, yeah, I, I can I can see the 3D side of it, but to your point, well, I mean, I could see Unreal Engine just dropping an right. AI animation tool into there and say, okay, everybody, here you go. This is free for everybody because we're Unreal and we can. Um, and it's just a tool. Outside of that, to your point, I don't I don't see it being a something that you can just make. <laughs> right, yeah. So, yeah, I think there's something we, we don't have to worry about too too much. Um, as a when, point... we get the, when we get the announcement of, hey, we made the program, mm-hmm. that's when we all go, deep breath. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you hear the clanking as the, the car is going up the, the roller coaster, right? You know, that's, that's, mm-hmm. that's it. Exactly. Um and Captain Laser Eyes is pointing out in, in chat, you know, Screen Actors Guild certainly has some big thoughts about AI. Certainly true. Mm-hmm. Um, some big concerns about that. So, yeah, I mean, everyone has concerns, uh, which is it's quite all reasonable. about the monies. It, it, well, you know, with SAG, it's, it's um, you know, I, I go back to my favorite um, Patrick Stewart story, uh, mm-hmm. how I missed being able to meet him yeah um years ago in uh, i think it was 1997 mm. he was doing othello and he came by to oh. our theater arena stage oh. <clears throat> to see um uh, 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 gene o'neill play Sorry. anyway the point mm. is is that actors 
their trade is their face, their body, their mm. presence. Yep. And so you don't take pictures without, you know, permission. Mm. You know, it's, it would be like going up to a voice actor and Steve Blum and going, start talking into this mic, please. You know, you don't do yeah. that, right? Mm -hmm. You don't take somebody's voice. You don't take their, their image because that's yeah. their livelihood. Mm -hmm. So when I was about 10 feet away from meeting him, someone came up and said, Mr. Stewart, yes, click. Oh, he's like, okay, out of here, bye. Uh, he has to because you know people are you're right. Yeah. You know they're not asking you know that kind of thing. So if you mm -hmm. have AI generation <clears throat> for actors, uh, you know for SAG, I can totally see them just going, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, don't use my yeah. because if you want to play the technical thing of well, we're just going to alter two pixels or we're going to make yeah. alter an eye color and just mm -hmm. say, well, that's not actually Patrick Stewart because we changed right. this thing. We gave him a little bit of hair on the sides. Yeah. So, you know, and I mean, the obvious thing is, you know, Grand Moff Tarkin in, yeah, yes, you know, yes. Rogue One, where it's yeah. like, you know, we're bringing characters back from the actors back from the dead now. From the dead, yeah. You know, in a way that's not, you know, like a cameo in a you know one shot. I mean, it is kind of a cameo in that film, but like he's a, he's in a, a you know, a, a couple of shots there. Like it's significance. Yeah. He, it's like, he has more than one line. Yeah. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so it's like that. That that's kind of changing things. Yeah. Whew. Hard to say, but anyway, um, who knows? And I hope that has been useful, though. <laughs> next, next, next week's uh, next week's giving of us it will be totally AI generated. So, exactly. you know, we're <laughs> welcome to that news. To that news, <laughs> I was not set on fire today. Thank you. <laughs>